Greetings, it's Ian from RTL here. Welcome to Retro Ranking. Uh, the day we do more about songs and albums, and I pick my favourite songs. And sometimes it's not even pop songs, it's, it's themes and anything musical that's a bit different. But today we have got a, probably the legends of instrumental, well, especially in this country. A lot of guitarists were influenced by the main guitarist in this band. And we're talking about the Shadows, who were up in the fifth, late 50s were called the Drifters. But they changed their name because of the American band to the, Shavel, to the Shadows. Uh, they weren't just an instrumental band. They were Cliff Richards' backing band as well. And they were led by the one and only Mr... Hank Marvin and probably one of the best rhythm guitarists, Bruce Welsh. Uh, Jet Harris was the man, everyone remembers him as on the bass. Tony Meehan and Brian Bennett were the drummers. And they had one or two different bass players through their career. They had 69 chart singles from the 50s up to the 2000s. 35 being credited to the Shadows and 34 with Cliff Richard. A really influential band and played in our house constantly as I was growing up. So it was naturally that I'd be a fan of The Shadows. Couldn't do 10, I had to do 20 because I had so many I wanted to put in this. So let's get cracking. So coming in at number 20. Now this is from 1967 and it was from a film. And the film that they, they actually were made into puppets for this film. And it was the film version of Thunderbirds Are Go. And this is their version of the Thunderbirds theme, which is pretty good. Um, they did uh, some, Cliff was in it as well. Uh, I don't know why it didn't chart, because it, it's just a really good, good track. It's on a little EP. And uh, yeah, what a great start. I like that track. A lot of their version of it. Okay, coming in at number 19, we go way up to the 80s now. And this was a hit single version. Hit single, sorry, in 1980. And it was got to number 12, and it's Riders in the Sky. Now, it's a cover version of the Johnny Cash song. Uh, the Outlaws did a version of it. The American, not the British. And I love the Shadows version of this, because there's a really good key change in the middle of it. Very clever stuff, according to the people that are in the know. The technical guitarists in my family. Uh, and I just like it. I like I like the songwriters in the sky anyway. So, um, yeah, what a great song. Okay, number 18. From 1975. Number 12 in the charts. But more importantly, came second in the Eurovision Song Contest held in Stockholm and it's Let Me Be The Let Me Be The One. It's a good song, but uh Bruce Welsh does the vocals on it. But my dad always said that one of the songs because it was one of them a song for Europe and he thought this was alright but there was one that they did should have been done but there you go. But yeah. Great song. Uh remember watching this on Eurovision, which is Eurovision. We're coming up to Eurovision now, so uh, yeah. Okay, number 17. Now this one actually was a single for the Drifters and it's called Jet Black. It's a quirky little number and there's a little bit of singing in it. All it is is Jet Black, Jet Black. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's, yeah, that's what I like about it. It's very quirky. Okay, coming in at number 16. Now, this is from 1980, and it appeared on an album called Another String of Hits by The Shadows, and it's their version of the Beach Boys' Good Bar Vibrations. Now, Hank Marvin could make his guitar sing. And I think this is one of the best versions apart from the Beach Boys you can get. It's a brilliant version of it. Uh, 
but you know, the, Hank Marvin, he's he's sort of doing the singing on his on his Fender. Absolutely brilliant version of it. Okay, coming in at number fifteen, we're going back to the sixties when they were at their peak, and this was a number one hit for them, nineteen sixty one, and it's Contiki. Great bass line from Jet Harris. Some steady germ from Tony Meehan. It's a wonderful track. Quirky. Uh, some lovely guitar. Especially Bruce Welsh. Brilliant track. Okay, coming in at number 14. Now, this was from 1962. And it was the B-side of Guitar Tango. And it's a little ditty called What a Lovely True. Now, this is features Brian Bennett drums now and he's got this little tappy sort of thing and it's all I don't know who's doing the vocal it could be Bruce it could be Hank and it's a about a chap inviting a lady around for a cup of tea and they keep going oh what a lovely tune they go out for a dance and it didn't go thing and then he comes back in and goes oh this is a lovely tune I wonder who wrote it I just love this <laughs> very very quirky Okay then, uh, coming in at number 13, uh, it's another Kerfer, Kerfer. and it was a B-side of the single, single Geronimo from 1963, and it's their version of Dwayne Eddy's Shazam. Now, on Dwayne Eddy, it's played on the Gretsch, that, that twang, we know how much I like Eddy as well. Now this is played on the Fender, and it's a different version, but it's still a great version. You know, they do a great cover of it, and it's always been one of my favourites. Okay, coming in number 12, we go to 1967 now, on an album called Jigsaw. An album that got played a lot in our house, because it's got a track on it called Chelsea Boot. It's one of the quirky songs on here. Um, it's a bit of pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa, you know, pinky and perky style. It's got another silly, it's got their version, this album also got a track, their version of Winston, Winston Chester Cathedral. And at the beginning, it's uh, a bit, the service has come, oh dear, they're all coming out. And that's, it's, it's all fun, but Chelsea Boot to me is the thing, because there's lots of stamping feet, a bit like the Ying Tong song and breaking glass. But it's, I loved this as a kid. And the bass line is done by John Rose and still who was the bass player at the time. And it's a great track. Okay, coming in at number 11. Number 1962. A number four hit for The Shadows. And it's Guitar Tango. Love the Spanish guitar at the beginning of this. Uh, absolutely great. And you've got Nori Parama's strings in it. Uh, it's a wonderful little track. Okay, coming in at number 10. 1963, number six. And it's a lovely little thing called Shindig. The drumming from Brian Bennett is brilliant on this. Uh, the, the bass is great. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant track. Okay, number nine. This is a B-side, and it was the B-side of Contiki. And it's called 362436 from 1961. One of Jet Harris's best bass lines. I think it's a great little groove. And it's got a lovely little rhythm guitar from Ruth Welsh on this. Absolutely brilliant track. Okay, coming in at number eight. We get to 1961 now. Number three. And it's the Frightened Sing City. Again, you've got um, Hank literally singing the Frightened City. Uh... It's that really lovely tone of the Fender Strat on here. I like it. It feels like it's saying the Frightened City. Great track. Great little bit of bass on there as well. Cool track. Okay, coming in at number seven. 1963. Number three in the charts. And it's the beautiful Atlantis. That lovely tone on the Fender. Nori Park. Parma's brilliant strings are always in here. Uh, super little song. Okay, coming in at number six from 1964. This got to number five. 
the rise and fall of Fignal Blunt. John Rosenstill's great bass line. Boom, 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 boom. That's great. Brian's drumming's great on this. It's just a quirky little track. Okay, coming in at number five. Go back to 1960 now. Number five, and it's the brilliant Man of Mystery. I like this. It's some of, I think, Hank Marvin's great guitar work. Um, very influential track. I mean, even in their early days, Muse did a cover of this, and they do a fine version of it. It's just one of their great classic Shadows songs. Okay, coming in at number four. Now this is a song from 1969. It was released as a single, never charted. It's always remembered for the B side, which is from the mid the theme for Midnight Cowboy. But the A side was Slaughter on Tenth Avenue. I love this. Uh, it's wonderful guitar work from Hank, but in the middle it goes more like a poppy, brassy TV theme. But you've got that distinctive Fender sound in the guitar solo as well. What a track. People forget about this one, but it is an absolute brilliant track. Mm. Top three, very hard, because these are, to me, the three finest tracks the Shadows ever did. So coming in at number three is a number one from 1962, and it's the wonderful, wonderful land. Um, classic, the strings from Norrie, great guitar work from Hank, and of course Mr. Mike Oldfield did a fantastic version of it as well. It's a great tune, always pops up on top tens with Richard, that does all for me. Okay, coming in at number two, another number one for them from 1960, and it's the brilliant Apache, Tony Meehan's drums. Make it sound like native Indian drums when they have their powwows. Uh, brilliant uh, guitar from Hank, but it's Bruce Welsh's rhythm guitar on this that really holds the track together. Absolutely brilliant. But my number one, and it's always been my favourite Shadows track from 1961, got to number six, and it's FBI. That dum, good dum, good dum, good dum, dum. Bam, bam. And again, it's li Hank Marvin's literally saying FBI on his guitar. But my favourite bit is in the middle when they go, and they used to, when they used to do this, they used to do that little shuffle walk. Um, I just think this is absolutely brilliant. And even Status Quo did a version of this with. Um, Brian May. It's not on an album, it's one of them tracks that got lost, but it's brilliant. Uh, I love the bass line on this track as well. Absolutely killer. So there we go. There's no honourable mentions today, because that's it. Um, but the Shadows, there's not any, anyone off said, all oh, the Shadows, oh, I used to like them. Oh, they're good. So um, some fun memories, and I'm sure a lot of you like the Shadows as well. Okay, that's all for today. But tomorrow is Marathon Day, and we've got another viewer's request. And this is a band I've not been a great fan of. There's one or two bits that I like of them, but I've had a really good listen to them now. And I sort of changed a little bit on how I feel about this band. And it is The Grateful Dead. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. So it only leaves me to say, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now. And don't forget, to the closing for this week's Battle Royale is tonight. No, it's not. It's got one day's voting. So if you want to still vote, uh, go to the community page and you'll see Bridge Over Troubled Water, picture of Bridge Over Troubled Water and the never mind the doo-doos and if you just click on the link you will be able to go and vote and remember it's one vote per ip address so i will see you tomorrow bye for now